And he joins us now. There he is. Right. Well, look, I suppose, what do you make of the uh, uh, of Putin's latest announcements? I thought he, he looked relatively deranged, but mm. I mean, uh, where, where are you on all this, uh, this whole issue? Well, I think it's obvious from all concerned that it's going very badly for Putin. It's going badly tactically, operationally and strategically. Um, Russian forces are, are now pinned down. The Ukrainian army is providing much stronger resistance than anybody expected, including the Russians. And um, the resilience of the Ukrainian people is remarkable. So uh, Zelensky is doing a great job as, the, as their leader. And um, I'm afraid it's time to get to the, um, to the talking table. It's time for Russian forces to concede defeat and pull out. Do you think that they've... Because watching it, especially with regard to the tanks, the way they sort of seem to have stalled, then they all went in off in different directions. Do you think they've actually lost communication with the, the head of control or something? Because it feels as though all the tanks, are all, the, the military are able to talk to each other, but it doesn't sound, feel like they're able to talk to a commander in chief or something. I mean, the fact that they bombed um, peace, the peacekeeping mission and things like that, it, it feels like there's a loss of communication somewhere. Yes, I haven't got the definitive um, answer for you, but it's quite clear from feeds that I've seen that there has been a breakdown in command and control. Uh, you've got a conscript army that's uh, refusing to fight. Um, the moral argument at the moment does not sit with the Russians. These are young people who do not want to shoot civilians. You've got logistic problems. You've got convoys that are pinned down. You haven't got air superiority, uh, air, air, total air superiority. So the Ukrainian um, anti-air weapons are proving very effective. And of course, the weather. You've got vehicles that are pinned down in bogs and in mud. It's, uh, it's a bit of a disaster. And um, at this point in time, I think that Putin needs to realise that uh, his plan has not worked and therefore plan, plan B.